Hey guys, what's up? Mad Season here, back with another video for you. Recently, I was lucky enough to win the weekly Stranglethorn Vale fishing tournament, and in this video, I wanted to sort of share some tips and tricks you can use to increase your chances of winning and getting the Master Angler of Azeroth achievement, which is part of the Accomplished Angler Meta achievement, which gives you the Salty title. You can also get an Heirloom Ring that increases your XP by 5% if you so choose as well. Note that this isn't a 100% victory guide because at the end of the day, it's all based on luck. How lucky you get and how unlucky everyone else gets. So you gotta be patient and persistent. But there are some things you can do to give you an edge. So this is a weekly event as I said. It starts at 2pm Pacific time which is 4pm Central and 5 Eastern every Sunday afternoon in the Stranglethorn Vale Zone. If you're in the zone at this time, either northern or southern, you'll get a quest pop-up to catch 40 of something called Speckled Tasty Fish, and you have to turn that in to the NPC Wriggle Bassbait in the Booty Bay Hub way down south. He's right outside of the inn here. Now, the catch here is that only the first 50 people in your region to turn in 40 fish will get the achievement, so it's a pretty intense and competitive race. Thousands and thousands of people. And you'll know when it's over because Riggle will do a zone-wide yell when the first 50 have been picked. It varies, but I've seen it happen as early as 2.10 and as late as 2.15ish, so you have around 12 to 15 minutes usually. You'll of course want to have find fish on. You get this recipe from any fishing pool in the game. As for actually catching the tasty fish, any pool in either zone will work, so keep an eye out for them and disable any other trackers you have so you don't get distracted. Especially find herbs so you don't get tricked by life fruit and strangle kelp. So let's start with the spot. The zone is quite large and there are tons of spots to fish obviously, and how good a spot really is depends on how many people are there. The area I like and where I won is the Venture Company Lake in the northern Stranglethorn. There are a high amount of pools that spawn in this lake, so you have the potential for quick back-to-back -back pools. But it can also be high traffic, so it can be great or really crappy. That's true with any spot in the zone, really. You can, of course, also fish along the coast and the rivers. Personally, though, I prefer this lake since, to me at least, it seems like the pools on the coast and rivers are too spread out and you spend too much time flying. Plus, they're super crowded on my server, more so than the lake. So, you'll want to get in position before the event starts, and make sure you have your hearth set to the booty bay end so when you do get 40, you can hearth and turn it in right away. As I said, the event starts at 2 PST. It's not exact though. For me, it was about 30 seconds after. When it hits 2, start precasting in a pool, and if you're lucky, the quest will pop and you'll get a quick bite to snag one right away. Remember, you're going against thousands of people, so every second counts here. So, the basic strategy I took is to stay in this lake and just keep doing circles. As you can see, it's pretty busy, but even with around 5 people here, you can get some schools to yourself. Anything more than 7-ish I'd say, you might be in trouble and may be better off going somewhere else though. If that is the case, I recommend going down south along the river as opposed to north because, as you see, the north eventually leads to a dead end. Ideally though, you want to stay in this lake. So obviously, you want to put the highest priority on free nodes with no people. People can and will fish out of nodes that you're fishing out of, and I suggest that you do the same only if it's one other person, and even still, avoid it if you can. And if you see two people fishing one already, in my opinion, it's not worth trying to snake a bite because chances are, it's going to get exhausted before you can get a cast off. So if you do it at all, just do it when there's just one other person. But maybe you got lucky and there's only one or two other people there. And in that case, you should of course adjust your strategy to just going for solo nodes. And the same goes if someone starts fishing in your pool. It all depends on how populated the area is. For this particular run, things were pretty busy so I continued to fish the pool if someone else joined me. But if there were fewer people, I'd bail and look for a fresh one. The density of these nodes do vary a bit. I've seen some as low as 2 and as high as 6, so again, luck is a big factor. So you basically just keep making circles around this lake until you get 40. Then you hearth and turn it into wriggle. 
Again, there's a huge amount of luck involved and chances are, even if you play it as best you can, you still won't win. The only thing I can say is to not get discouraged. If you stick with it, you will eventually get it. As for other miscellaneous tips, a big one as you may have noticed is that you can have a friend help you out. Here I have my buddy Maver spotting empty pools for me so I can quickly move from one to the next. And something really handy I think is to have a friend fake fish in your pool. And what I mean by that is every time your friend gets a bite, he hits escape and doesn't reel it in. This is helpful because others see two people fishing in one node and usually they'll move on to the next, leaving you to fish node solo, which is great. It is cheesy, but hey, it's a strategy and it gives you an edge. I mean, you clicked this video because you wanted to win, right? So if you have a friend who isn't busy, maybe ask them to help you out for 15 minutes. And as for other miscellaneous stuff, if you have a choice, I recommend fishing on a druid because you have that instant flight form. You might not think that this is a big deal, but again, every second counts. For this particular run, I made it with just 30 seconds to spare. If I wasn't on a druid using this instant bird form, I probably would have lost. It is also handy to have the Underlight Angler fishing artifact from Legion. This gives you water walking, which makes nodes easier to hit. Some of them actually need water walking to fish out of. As you can see here, this low level couldn't reach my node, so either get this artifact and get the water walking trait, or just get a water walking potion. And of course shamans and death knights also work, but again, druid is nice for that quick flight. Also, make sure you have space in your bags of course so you can actually loot the fish, and make sure you have your fishing leveled so you're not just catching junk. And most importantly, again, persistence is key. Don't give up if you feel like you're doing badly because others might not be doing so good as well. For this run for example, I thought I was doing terribly until the second half kicked in and I started to get some luck. So you gotta hang in there. And if you are one of the lucky 50, you'll have a choice of a few rewards. The Arcanite Fishing Pole which increases your fishing skill by 40. You also have the Hook of the Master Angler which is a trinket that turns you into a fish. Not too useful if you have the Underlight Angler already. You also have some boots which increase your fishing skill and hearths you to Booty Bay. There's a fishing line that increases your fishing skill by 5, usable on any fishing pole, and the Dread Pirate Heirloom Ring which gives you stamina, crit, haste, and 5% bonus XP. So you of course should pick what you want before doing the event. Every second counts and you don't want to be in that complete screen choosing and then someone beats you to it. Those final 5 seconds where you're dashing to the NPC are rough I tell you what, and it would suck to see him do the yell right in front of you. So that's about it. Those are my tips for the Stranglethornville fishing extravaganza. It's mainly luck, but there are some tricks that give you an edge. I wish you luck, plenty of speckled tasty fish, quick casts, and free nodes. I hope you found the video helpful, like it if you liked it, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Farewell for now, mortals. We hope you enjoyed today's video. See you again soon.